Hi guys, welcome back to the Bargain District with me, Monique, and today I have my shoe collection. This will be part one. I have so many shoes, I don't even know. Um, these are basically majority of my flats and sandals. So this is part one for uh, sandals and flats. Uh, these are basically um, what I feel um, represent the majority that I have because some of them I can't find. <laughs> it's all over the apartment. Okay, so uh, the first flat that I'm going to tell you about, I'm going to show you are these. Um, these are Lover Randall with Suno collaboration. So I think Suno um, designed the print on these ones. These are very um, comfortable and they're fabric with leather on the inside but it's fabric on the outside so they're very comfortable and very breathable and I wore this a lot when I went to Bangkok in Indonesia last time. It was really comfortable. And then the next sandal that I have are these by Balenciaga. Um, these are all leather. Um, the I've had this maybe for two years so I've worn quite a lot of it. Um, these are somewhat comfortable. The only um, problem for me is like this tend to get in between my toes and get uncomfortable after like you know walking for quite some time. So these are not for all day. I would say this is for like half day kind of thing. And the next one is I have this um, Rhinestone Flats by Valentino. These I've had for a long time. You can't even see the hot stamp anymore. These are comfortable. These are great for um, summer or if you have a little bit of a dressy kind of um, thing to go to but you don't want to wear heels kind of because of the rhinestones. Um, these kind of my probably most worn flats. These are by Ferragamo. I love the way that it's so distressed. It showed you. It shows you that I've worn this so so much and I love the way it is. I think it gives it more character of how um, your shoes are showing some wears and tears and all that. It, it means that you actually wear them. So these are kind of comfortable. They're not really all day. They're more like a half day thing. And these are also another pair that I uh, wear a lot, a lot, I wear often um, compared to the other ones. These are by Zara. I've had this made for two years. I bought it on sale for like $20 or something like that. It's all leather. Uh, originally it was like maybe $150. Um, it's very comfortable and very sturdy and very well made. Eva Chen, the uh, editor-in-chief of Lucky also has the same pair and she wears them still. Um, Alright, another one that I wear so much are these Isabel Morant um, loafers. Um, I've talked about these before. Um, they're starting to come off on this side, but they are still the most comfortable buttery loafers I've ever, ever worn. So, and the next one are these uh, by Joe's jeans. These are just a fun um, kind of mirror silver ones. Whenever you have something like this and then you wear them, it makes like this kind of like um, dent here and which makes it kind of uncom unflattering. But you know, it's just something for fun. You know, you're not gonna have this forever. It is leather, leather lining also, a leather sole and everything, um, but it's not going to last that long in my opinion as you can see it's already like falling apart but anyway I had fun while it lasted um, the next one um, is this one I don't wear anymore I don't know why I bought it but it's from not Mark by Mark not Mark Jacobs it's from little Mark Jacobs so I did go there I went um, I have a size 6 shoes and sometimes I can fit into like children's sizes. I'm not ashamed to admit I do it. Um, and I was shopping for gifts for um, family at Marc Jacobs and I saw these and I was like, I gotta have them. And so it's the mouse flats. 
they're super cute but super uncomfortable I just realized that designers do not wear use the same materials when they make shoes for kids and shoes for adults these are not comfortable at all and these are like kind of cheap the feel to it and it was sort of a torture so I didn't really try again but I don't know maybe I should and you know this hot stamp it was rubbed off after wearing it once so I don't know I don't know no maybe I'll wear it again once but let's see that's kind of like my um regret um and then we have my precious, precious, precious Chanel. My precious quilted leather Chanel flats, which I finally broke out when I went to Indonesia. It's in gray. It's totally beautiful. I will have to keep forever and buy more of these. <sighs> There's just such such classic pieces love it she lives in a box unlike the others <laughs> um, okay so I have two unworn flats um, the first ones are by Lon Vaughn and I really want I wanted to wear this in the summer because it's fabric um, but I have a thing about perfect unworn soles I love them I don't know why I love them I feel guilty if I wear them and make them dirty because streets of New York are so dirty and you wear your shoes once and that's it that's it it's gone okay but yeah these are in size 6 my size and they're beautiful they have Swarovski they're one of them flats they're staple I will wear them one day and the next unworn item is this uh, shoes, which I call my version of Doc Marts by Tots. Uh, these are in the dark plum color, um, and they're very sturdy. And yet I have never worn them because I'm saving them for something. Maybe for the apocalypse. I don't know. I'm saving them. I love new shoes. I just love them. I love looking at them. You know, once you wear them, they're dirty. I know why I haven't worn them and I forgot about these because these have been my favorite. These are my favorite ever the past season. These are by Reed Krakow. Black and white. A little bit of a heel. Technically not a flat, but you know, I'll put it in the flat section because they are fabulous. Fabulous and fabulous and fabulous and I would definitely buy another one of these if I see one in a good price They're amazing and they're gorgeous and I love them and they're a statement piece. You see them all over my blog and <sighs> They're just beautiful So these are these are my favorites for now because it keeps changing but Thank you so much for watching. Those are my Sandals and flat collection, and I will have my um, heels and boots collection coming soon, um, possibly next week. Okay, thank you, and please comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you like my videos. Thank you so much for those of you who have commented and subscribing. I will be posting more. Bye.